Hey, this is Lyle from Buck's Gearbox. Welcome to the road trip. So today's Friday, it's a lovely morning. It is, uh, you know, third winter going by Ohio seasons. And we are having a little field trip down to see my friends at River's Edge Cutlery. We're gonna start doing this every once in a while. I'm gonna take a little road trip, head down there and see what's new. I can't wait. Thanks for joining me on the journey. Yeah, I got my, got my water, got my caffeine, got my breakfast. Got the hand sanitizer because I was a germ freak before it was cold. I don't need a new knife. I don't need one. I'm not going to the knife shop to buy a new knife. I'm going to buy a pair of socks. Here we are. Alright, so here we are. My favorite place uh, to come on a nice, cool Ohio day. These guys are going to, uh, they're going to give me a little bit of a tour. We're just gonna go in here and see what's new now um the channel is bucks gearbox but my my real name is lyle i just want you to know that going in these guys all know me by that so yeah here we are river's edge cutlery boom let's go see let's go see what the boys are doing today all right so we're laughing, we're what's having up, some Lyle? fun. How's it going? Good, man. How's what's it going? going on? What's up, Doug? What's hey, man. Up? What's up? How you guys doing? You don't mind being on video, do you? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> you, don't, you, know, you don't know Trav. <laughs> okay. I should ask first. So, uh, so yeah, we're here at River's Edge Cutlery, and I'm just going to get a tour of what's new, what's what's really cool right now, and yeah, I'm show you some knives. You want to see what came in this week? Yeah, let's do it. Cool, man. So first thing that came in this week that I was pretty excited about are the new Giant Mouse Ace Corta. You know I'm a fan of Giant Mouse. I know, I should, I think that was one of the first things you looked at when you came in here, like an Ace Grand or something, wasn't it? Yep, and I took one home. <laughs> I wish they made some more Ace Grands. Yeah? Yeah, I missed that knife. So tell me about these guys. So this is a um, new design from them. It's one of the, their, the first ones that I've seen, other than like maybe the Sonoma, that has no opening hole. Interesting. Um, yeah, straight like up flipper. Uh, yeah. They're all liner locks. There's no frame lock, frame lock option at this time. Mm -hmm. But they're M390, satin on the natural micarta, stone wash on the green micarta, and then black oh. PVD uh, with uh, the black G10 there on the blackout model. They all have that nice kind of brass backspacer there um, and a wire clip. That's really sweet. I have the uh, the Ace Riv in that colorway. I love the Riv. The Riv is another one that's sweet. Um, Don't make me tempted to buy the set. So that's awesome. Yeah, but I'm super psyched about these. Uh, the action's obviously great because they all are, but... Um, Really, really digging those. Well, I love giant mouse designs. They're just really cool. I know that. Uh, Very classy. Those Anzo designs, always solid. Mm -hmm. What else do we got going what on? What else you got? Doug, what else came in this week? Oh, we got some. We got some Protec. Ah, on. yes. Lots of Protec. Two grand uh, godsons right there. Oh yeah, that's. TR3 these are SWAT. Beautiful. But we got the tuxedo and then the bronze aluminum. All right. Um, did you guys hear the story about, about the bronze aluminum? No. So I guess the idea behind this was, so bronze is copper and what's the other material in bronze? Anyway, <laughs> zinc maybe? They, they, what they did was they took one of the, uh, the elements out of bronze and replaced it with aluminum. I think I, I think it was. Oh, yeah. I think they took the zinc out. Um, I, think I read about that. So you still get the weight, you still get the look of it, but it doesn't tarnish like okay. traditional mm. bronze does, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then the milling they do on the inside of these oh, dude. is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You probably won't be able to see it, but it's a lot of a lot of lightning cuts on on the inside okay. there, that which is pretty cool. cool. And it's still heavy. Like it's still, it's has still substantial weight yeah. with that. Yeah. And That's then awesome. the the tuxedo line, everyone knows white Lin Ray right. card on those and kind of blacked out. SWAT TR3s. This is still my favorite. I know you're a big fan of the TR3. Yeah, this is still my favorite. It's just a neutral handle and um, I just How's really that Magna those. Cut TR3? 
operating it's for been, you. It's been good. Yeah. Uh, the, the one thing is I think I'm going to pop that safety out. Oh, okay. I'm just not a big safety on an auto guy. I'm the um, same way. But I'm not a big safety on anything guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about this guy because so this, this is really cool. This is a classic. Um, this is the uh, Magic Whiskers from from ProTech. It's essentially... What I, from what I can tell, it, it feels like it's a backlock automatic. Okay. Um, the way you actuate it, though, since there's no button, is you just push up on the top corner of this bolster there. Dude. It's so cool. cool. <laughs> super, super sweet. I think it's cool because it's... And you can one-hand this. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not sure I can. But how cool is that? Yeah, that thing is... I'm not going to try to one-hand it on camera. <laughs> Unless you want to get cut on camera. Blood and violence <laughs> in my YouTube videos, yeah. So. We're not trying to get demonetized. <laughs> right, right. But those are sweet. I'm a, I'm a big ProTech fan. I probably have five or six ProTechs. I am, I am also a big ProTech guy. Um, you know how I feel about the guys over there. Yeah, Some of sure. the nicest people in the knife industry. For sure. Um, what else you got? Another brand that we're kind of getting more into is Hogue. Hogue. So this is the new Ballista from Hogue. Um, 154cm aluminum handles with that safety there. Another safety. Another safety. <laughs> Comes in a black handle as well. That is awesome. And also a black on black. American made. I know. Right? I know. That's the... Uh, that's one of the big selling points of these. I think they're about a buck sixty. Yeah, so not bad too. Good, good price for like a, a seriously full sized uh -huh. auto. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really, really digging those. And I'm hearing we're gonna get uh, Deca in Magna Cut at some point. That's right, and it's gonna be the the lightweight version of the Deca. Uh, so yeah. it's gonna be um, either FRN or GFRN. I can't remember which okay. one they use but it's gonna be like less than an ounce and a half. That might something. be my first Hogue. Well, it, I don't know. And it, it's, it's gonna be a good way to actually get some use on Magna Cut mm -hmm. because there's been so many knives that have been, com have been coming in a Magna Cut, but they're all like high 250 end. plus. Yeah. Kind of um, so I, I think these are gonna be like in the 130, 140 range. Okay. So for a US made knife, really I good I like value. the sound of that. Yep, yep. Really, really good value. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We're looking at the uh, consignment case here. Justin, how we you doing? Wanna on, you want to be on camera? Sure. All right. That's not a problem. So, uh, doing, guys? so uh, I was just gonna see. You know, we don't get a lot of footage of what's in the consignment case. You know, it's yep. like a, it's a thing where we come in and, and see what's here, and uh, usually you find something really, really cool. So, yep. so Evan pulled these out. I think he's gonna show me these guys. Yeah. Well, tell me what's going on here. Yeah. So these are both, like yes. you said, these are both consignment pieces. Um, this is one of the blade. Q exclusives with the JG10 handles and the M4 blade on the Shaman. M4, that yep. is cool. Yeah, that, it's a fantastic steel. Right. Um, and this one, and I'm going to pull out the box and cheat a little bit on it. It okay. should be basically a custom one <laughs> from good. ProTech. Um, it has the um, the push button mm -hmm. with, I believe it, like the um, the Pearl and Lane, all that good stuff. And then like the yeah. custom handle and all that with the SBR model being the, the chassis and all that. And that's kind of like the, this SBR is kind of like the small rock eye, right? Yep, yep, okay, short cool. blade rock eye. Yep, short yep. blade rock eye, that's it. And these are sweet. Lush George design, yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah, I love know. the SBRs, man. They're, that's very cool. Yeah. I'm a big fan of ProTech in general. Thank you, brother. a great company, man. And then this thing right here, <laughs> that is a collector's item. Yeah. That is super cool. I'll check. I'll check on you. Yeah, if if y'all are ever in Hilliard, Ohio, or really just in the Columbus area, you gotta come and check out the consignment. Yeah, so this guy older. It's just it's just killer, and you never know what you're gonna get. So it's always changing. Hey, always changing. Thanks, Justin. Yep. I appreciate Absolutely, it, man. man. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> you too. We got a little uh, fixed blade action here. Okay. Yep. River, LT right. Some cool stuff. SE. We got your Civivi here. Dust and Look at the Spider Co. selection. This isn't even all of it. Need some custom scales. We got the Leon Malls down there on the bottom. We got uh, TRM. Yeah, very different. I like this. The Zebra knives, super cool. 
I got a pinion. Like like if anybody needs a left handed, like Chris Reeve. So, you know I mean. All right, we got, <laughs> yep. got some survival gear. Take care of your knives. Some sharpening systems. I have that one. It's really nice. That one's a beast. Yeah, dude, I don't think it looks as good as Mike's coating. I didn't, I just saw it like on a tiny picture. I'm getting some raw footage of Evan working back here, tweaking this knife. The craziest part is that we have raw footage of Evan working. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna, make, I wasn't gonna make that joke. That, that was at your own expense. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it. What's up? Pocket dump time? All right. <laughs> Got a it's Doug carrying today. American Blade Works Model Ooh. 1 Titanium. See, that's just awesome. <laughs> Very, very cool. Is and there like a V, like a V4 or what, like what, what version are they on? Now? Yeah, so that's the model, that's the model one. They just revised it to be called model one. That okay. is the sixth iteration. Okay. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, V6. And then now they're stopping the numbers and they're staying on six as like okay. their final polished product. They're jumping into a model two though, um, which is a different, whole different knife, a whole different style. That is very cool. And you, you only have positive things to say about how your interaction yeah. went with them. Yeah, uh, the guy's name is Michael Martin, and uh, he's making knives out of uh, North Carolina. He's a one-man band. He's doing everything, so all That's the legit. CNC, the, the hand finishing and everything. His customer service is just fantastic on Instagram if you look up American Blade Work, so a little, little shout-out to him. Awesome. Um, they're doing great, great things. Does this have the over travel stop built into the lock bar insert? It does. Yeah. Whoa. It's an extended lock bar insert to go down further to act as an over travel You can see it so. through there. I thought that's what that was. Dude. Yep. That might be the first time someone's done that. It's pretty sweet. That's legit. It's an easy, easy solution. That's and awesome. Who's going to follow that? Like, <laughs> yeah, what do you do for that? <laughs> like, seriously. That's really awesome. I love that. So, Evan, what are you carrying today? I have my Fred okay. Webb Omnims we, on. You, you can, yeah. That's Every, a, everyone a good knows, follow. That's everyone a good knows follow. this knife. Um, glass blast and it's got the green o-rings on it that's from cole cool. this from... knife has a lot of a lot oh, of yeah. other people in it yeah that's true it's one of my about that story all right cool man all right jim what do you got <clears throat> i got the exclusive pm2 what the that's 204p and awesome. the oh that's super cool yeah it's one of my favorites can't everybody in the country pocket. wants one of these right now right yep <laughs> as well as the shaman can't get this thing out of my pocket it's one of my favorites i love it uh, Justin, your turn. What I you know got? everyone's gonna be super surprised by this. <laughs> I'm carrying my mini tank, my mini Adamas, oh, and no the way. best colorway out there. That's awesome. Yep, See, try I and true, you man. You had a black one. You got the. I the my full size Adamas is a black. Oh, okay, okay. Black, black. Very cool. I have the black mini, so it's the way to do it, man. I love it. Very <laughs> cool setup. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Thank you. Just got done at River's Edge Cutlery and I'm super pumped. I actually didn't buy anything today, which is pretty rare. My wife's gonna be very happy about that. But man, I can't thank those guys enough. I appreciate my fellas down there for letting me barge into their shop with my camera. Have them show us some things that are in stock and some exciting things in that consignment case. Those are pretty cool things to look at for sure. Hidden treasures, true collector's items down there. But anyways, you know, I always get excited when I go to River's Edge Cutlery because I'm a knife enthusiast, but man, I just gotta say, I love those guys. They make it awesome to be in that shop. They're just fun to talk to, they're experts, but they're also enthusiasts in the knife community. And uh, yeah, I just love those guys very much, so. And uh, we'll be doing this again. I'm really excited about that. So, be checking back often for more content. Again, my name's Lyle, this is Buck's Gearbox, and uh, Thanks for watching. Have a great day.